Yeah, what's up family? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Prince Odinga, one-on-one -on -one from Africa, East Africa, Kenya. Let me take this opportunity to greet you all. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It will depend guys on the time zone. You will be watching uh, Prince Odinga from. Uh, to my returning viewers, thank you, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos, my good people. I really appreciate for the special uh, support which you are showing to my YouTube channel and also to my new subscribers who watched my previous videos and you decided to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My good people, uh, welcome and uh, I can assure you that uh, here you are home. Here is the best place to stay, home of reality. Yaman, Yaman, Yaman. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're watching these guys and you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, Buana. Subscribe, Yaman. Yeah, Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So that when Prince Odinga I upload the video, you can watch the video on the right time. And also you can get notified on the right time. Yaman, yeah, Yaman, yeah, Yaman yeah, from Africa is a reaction video. Things are not good. Things are here to be ironed. I told you that I'm here to be telling you the truth. I'm here to defend my brother Yamaro and all the positive reactors. One on one. One on one. Hot, hot. Things are not cool. Actually, my guys, as my title, my title uh, suggests, uh, that is exactly what we are going to talk about. I'm going to iron about two people here who are using Ayamara's name in the bad way, who don't respect that family at all. So here I'm going to iron about, uh, there is a new pastor, I don't know if it's a new old pastor, I don't know, but there is a fake, a fake, a fake pastor. I've never met such fake pastor and for this I, I confess and I say it's true, uh, he's fake. And also I'm going to iron about M. Karot, yeah man, M. Karot, yeah, the lady from Kenya, I don't know, from, uh, from Western. So uh, having two people in the building, you know, as, as, uh, as always guys, before we iron things, uh, we normally go with receipts, receipts to prove, because uh, when Prince Odinga maybe can come here and start talking, like the other lazy gangs, for example, lazy gangs, they do create their own stories, they come on the camera, they start talking their own things, their own shenanigans, they are creating just stories which are not there. But with Prince Odinga, we go with receipts, then we iron, or we know the truth about what we are talking. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't uh, here to fake, we are not here to fake uh, uh, the content. We are here to talk after re the receipts. And as always, guys, let's uh, check the receipts first here. I'm here again to pray and I'm here to soak this place in the blood of Jesus. Now, guys, people are talking. A lot of people are talking and people are asking questions like, oh, why is, oh, why is Marwa and, uh, why is Marwa and, and Davi, Davi Jr. Why is Marwa and Davi Jr. Why are they not close like the way Marwa is close to D. Wango? You see, guys, one thing I want you to know is that oh, Marwa, Marwa's father is different from D. Mwango and uh, David Jr.'s father. Do you get me? Now, David Jr.'s father is the man you have been seeing in their house. David Jr. and D. Mwango are one father, one mother. But I, 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 there is something you guys should not know. Marwa from day one got a problem with his stepfather. Marwa's stepfather is D. Mwango's, David Jr.'s father. Now, everything shows clearly that Marwa and uh, Dim Wango's father are not in a good term. Do you, do you get my point? Now, I want to take my time and analyze this issue once and for all. Now, the question I want to ask is, Marwa, where is your dad? Marwa, where is your father? Mm, I want to know, where, where, where is your dad? Because... Uh, we've seen your step uh, we've seen your stepfather we have seen your mom 
but it seems Marua have this oh uh, this this thing this thing for for the stepdad like Marua Marua and the step oh uh, Marua and the stepdaddy are not are not in a good term. But have you ever seen them greet each other before? They might, but not uh not on on everyday not on everyday notes. Do you do you get me? So people are saying that Marwa is not helping or uh, Marwa is not helping David Jr. You see Marwa's family issue is 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 complicated. And I don't want you to come here and go like why are you talking about Marwa's family? Oh, I got to talk about it because we are all on YouTube. Recently they 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 just uh, they just created or open the youtube can you please take the uh, uh the blood of Saturn to your house can you firstly go talk about your uh, your home your family from there now you can come here to talk about other people's uh, family firstly when i opened this video i expected to i expected uh, this person could have come up with good news whereby the way uh, he started the video the way he started the video uh, he was talking, uh, praying that eh? the way he started praising the Lord, they say that finally, we tomorrow we have got somebody who can fight for uh, for these lazy gangs, who can help us spiritually to fight these lazy gangs. But I was very, very shocked. I was very, very shocked, and I'm still shocked. That's why I decided to come up with this video. This guy is saying that where he's asking Maro about Kong, uh, his dad. This guy is saying that I am Aaron David Jr. They are not in good terms. That's why I am Maro decided to help Dimwango and left David Jr. This guy at the same time he's saying that Dimwango and David Jr. they are one blood. I am Maro is apart. Then how comes I am Maro can help Dimwango and leave aside David Jr. That's what he's saying. And to the way we are, he, is, he is explaining, you can think that he knows better. He knows uh, uh, Ayamara's dad, who is Ayamara's biological dad. Hmm? This is a new thing here. It's not new. Even the other late gangs have been talking about asking the same funny questions, stupid questions, nonsense questions. Huh? That Congrats dad is not Ayamara's dad. Yes, for you it's good. But to me, I don't want to go deep. We know that. We know in Africa, I don't know if it's worldwide, but in Africa, we know that any person, for example, Prince Odinga, I managed to marry a wife who is having a kid. A kid is less than two years or three years. Because I'm not abnormal. I'm not stupid to marry somebody who is having the kids over 20 years or 15 years or 10 years. No, you marry something which you can... Uh, for you which you can control. They do say that in Swahili, Samaki uh, uh, beach. you can control the fish while it's still uh, small. I don't know if it's the flow, that is the flow. Yeah, you can control the fish while it's small. So, when you want to marry even a wife who is having a kid, you will have to, uh, to uh, there are fact which, factors which you are looking for. Hmm? You will have to look for a wife who even she, if she's having a kid, then the kid is the one who you'll take care of. Not somebody who will come to destroy your family or to bring other bad behaviors. And as to the way they are saying, if it's true that uh, Congrats dad is not the real Ayamara's uh, biological dad, then uh, Congrats dad is the real hero, is the hero. Why am I saying that he's the hero? Because first, Congrats dad, uh, he took all the responsibilities which Ayamara needed from childhood. He took Ayamara to school uh, because there is nobody can come here to lie that uh, Ayamara got the knowledge with only uh, a congrats mom's support. Eh? You can't, you can't lie. You can't lie to me that. Uh, uh, congrats mom is the one who took all the responsibilities of Ayamaro and D Mwango and David Jr. You can't. You can't convince me. Congrats dad. 
as the way, I want to go with the way these les gangs are talking. Let it be the way it is. Congrats that, the way they are saying that, uh, he's not the biological dad to, Devi, uh, to Ayamara. Then, congrats that he's a hero because he did all the necessary. Despite that, he wasn't, he wasn't employed, employed the government. He sacrificed his life. Whereby, you could have find congrats that all the time busy in Shamba doing all the necessary things which will help his family to grow. The family includes Ayamaro, includes Devi Jr., includes Dimwango, and their big, uh, their firstborn sister. So, uh, it, is, it is going to be very, very difficult. It is going to be very, very difficult for these lazy gangs to come here asking to uh, Ayamaro to show uh, his real dad, real dad, biological dad, and yet... Uh, he knows that somebody who took care of him when he was in need, hmm? when he was in need, eh? that is the father. So these people are trying to, con to bring another story. And let me assure you that, these guys, if, if I am Mara's dad, the Congress dad, he wasn't, con uh, he wasn't taking all the good responsibilities of Ayamaroa. I assure you that uh, this was the right time to Ayamaroa to look for his biological dad. I assure you, this could be the right uh, time to Ayamaroa to look for his biological dad. We have seen many. We have seen many of the people. Even Diamond Platinums, the big artist from Tanzania, he was raised with another father. But finally, when he managed it to make it in future, he went to look for his father and many, 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 many others. But we having others like Ayamara, when somebody can come and talk to them like, uh, you know, uh, this congrats dad is not your real dad, they can be like, what a shit are you talking what nonsense are you telling me? Hmm? This guy is saying that David Jr. never got any support from Ayamaro. My question is, where is David Jr. right now? Where is David Jr. right now? He is in South Africa. Who, make, who made David Jr. to be in South Africa? Is Ayamaro. Huh? Is Ayamaro. If the way these guys, these lazy gangs have been, they are saying that uh, since Ayamaro and David Jr., they are not one blood. Ayamaro is jealousy to help David Jr. Because when he will, he will help David Jr., David Jr., finally, he will be against Ayamaro. Hmm? Most of the people do that. But to this case of Ayamaro, there is nothing like that. They are living in a, in a peaceful way. Eh? There is another video here, guys. Before we talk, we talk. Do you get me? Now, uh, where is Mara's daddy? Where, Mara, where is your father? Mara, where is your biological... Where is your biological father? Now, you see, one thing I want you to know is that the reason why Marwa is trying everything possible to build his mansion is because he, he, he actually got nobody behind him except the mother. Do you get my point? D. Mwango, D knows very well that Marwa and, and, and the daddy are not good. If you go through Mara's video, there is one video that Marua was talking about uh, his eyes. Gone at those days when they were playing, and a small boy, and a small boy threw a stone, a small stone that hit his eyes, and uh, the way he he expected his stepdad. Do you get my point? The way he, Marwa, expected 
his stepdad, which is D. Mwango's, Davis Jr. dad, to take care of him at that time, the man didn't do that. Do you get my point? So, Davis Jr.'s daddy, or, 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 or uh, uh, this father, this daddy, don't really and really like Marua. I'm telling you. And the reason why Marua is, is building that mansion is because he knows that he got nobody. So he got to do what he got to do. Now, their main compound, their main compound, as in Marua's, their main compound, Marua, Marua knows very well that in the future, that place will be given to D. Mwango and Davi Jr. Yes. That is why the young man Marua is doing everything possible to build his own house. I, I do not know the reason why Marua got a problem with his stepdad. Because in that video, Marua made it very clear that he doesn't like D. Mwango's father. Man, I am opening keys for you. Go check that video, long time video. Marua said he doesn't like D. Mwango's father. But one thing is that, you know girls, D is a girl. D is a girl. So definitely, uh, girls don't really put some things on their mind. So definitely, you will see D. Mwango following with Marua because they are one mom. Do you get my point? Now, I, I don't know if David Jr., is, is a big threat to Marua. I don't know. Because as I told you, in the future, the main compound, the main building, their story building, that building will be given to David Jr. Because that compound belongs to David Jr.'s daddy. Do you, do you get my point? So, Marua's family got a lot of issues. Do you understand my point? Mara's family got a lot, a lot of issues that is, that is, that is going on. Do you, do you get my point? Other people are also saying, why is Mara not helping David Jr.? Now, I remembered very clearly, I remembered vividly that the main reason why Mara doesn't want to support David Jr. is because sometimes when Mara talks to Davi, sometimes Davi doesn't want to take it. Yes. You know, while when Mara talks to Dim Wango, Dim Wango's always listen. So Mara will go like, Davi, don't go here, don't go and shoot over here, don't go and do that over there, but Davi will not listen. <laughs> this fake pasta, pasta, Pastor, you came out knowing the family more than we, the village, met. According to how you were stating, according to how you came out, saying that you know the father, hmm? you want the Ayamaru to show the real father. I thought that you know the family, but I've realized that you know nothing. You know nothing, rather than your head full of porridge, full of water, talking nonsense. You know very well, then let me teach you if you don't know. Congrats, uh, congrats, ma or congrats, dad, managed to, got, to get two sons. That is Devi Jr. and Ayamaro. Devi Jr. is the last born. Devi Jr. is the last born. And from Africa, from Kenya, from our tribe, Koreans, the last borns always remain staying with their parents. That is rule number one. Number two, the firstborn son is the head of the family, is the advisor, is the one to take care of all the responsibilities in the family just in case maybe, for example, congrats dad is not there. Ayamaro will be there to take all the responsibilities as the firstborn. 
The third thing, Ayamarwa could not stay with the family together rather than him go to look for the land and build his home. That is how we do it in Africa. It wasn't because of the way you are reasoning. It is because it is the way we are doing it. It is the way we do it in our tribe. You are saying that Congrats dad never supported Ayamara. Eh? Ayamara realized that Congrats dad won't support, won't support him. Or David Jr. won't support him. He decided to work by himself. Let me ask you, how many times I am the villa in the villa there? It has been built over five years, and mostly it was being built uh, when Ayamaro is not there. Congrats, that was the person who was in charge. And up to now, as we are talking, Ayamaro is not in the villa, but congrats, that is there. Even there is a day I made a video, I was talking about the same thing. I was saying that, congrats that the rule which he is playing in the villa, it, you can think like, uh, congrats that is, the bra is a brother to Ayamaro. Always there, taking Ayamaro's things, properties, seriously, hmm? like his. Huh? Doing all the necessary. Even some of the workers who used to work there, uh, when they came, when uh, they could went to look for job and they found that congrats that is the the one who is in charge to to stand for the job for a day, they were like, "What today we are going to work? Why? Because the way you are talking that uh, is not uh, congrats that is not the biological dad to Ayamara. Now congrats that is playing his best role." So that Ayamaro cannot see that this, uh, uh, my father, this father which I'm having uh, is not, is not what, is not the, the real father. But congrats that is playing so that Ayamaro can see that, oh, despite that, what these lazy gangs are saying that congrats that is not my biological dad, but he deserve, he deserve to be my biological dad. Of which guys you can see. You can see from the view. You can see. Huh? This guy is saying that, oh, even when uh, Ayamaro got the accident, he was involved in an accident. Uh, congrats, Dad never took any responsibility. How? Were you the one who took care of uh, Ayamaro during the incident? Were you the one? I will always tell you guys that any person who is talking lies in order to tarnish the family of Ayamara in the name of getting views or I exactly it's just to get views because they realize that the travel commando got a lot of people worldwide who watching him so that when they can create any any faking story they can get views i assure you guys you are going nowhere the way our brother is crying all the time why are those people talking bad about me and what i'm doing is correct the way he do, he, he's feeling don't think that you are going to make it but at the end you are going to lose everything yeah that is the fact there is another receipt here, guys. Iron after iron. So this is the last song. They have a dedication for Rocio. And it's called Jambo Abarigani. Yeah. Welcome to Kenya. Abarigani. Abarigani. Makaribishwa Kenya yetu Hakuna matata <laughs> Guys Happiness, happiness, happiness For Rocio's baby 
Happiness, happiness. <laughs> yes, all this Maro paid from his wallet. He removed his wallet, removed his card, chipped it in, and it was his money. I'm not saying, I'm asking. <laughs> Don't get confused. I am not saying, I am asking. And I'm also going to answer. <laughs> I watch this, I say, wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Rosio deserves. This girl has suffered in the swamp. Hi. Ugali and skumawiki. Rice and beans and ticks and soda. <laughs> Hey, Lord of mercy. Hey, who can suffer like that, like this? In this our era, a normal Kenyan girl will go to the swamp and suffer the way Rocio has been suffering. Eh? Dr. Tano says enjoying free things as usual. He can't pay for such. I was shocked. I said, you know, every time he keeps on suppressing me. You know, I'm like, Wow, before he says it all, I'm like, wow, at last maybe Maru has paid for something. And then my eyes are glued there. And I'm waiting to hear everything and the prices and everything. Before you know, talking about something else, I want to bring you this uh, small. A small uh, clip of what he said about this blessings 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 always full of gifts full of uh, donations my brother my brother uh, i'm happy for you i'm happy for you it's just prince Oding. i'm the one who remaining now i'm the one who remaining one day i want to say that i'm going to pay for your bills that is my my biggest wish eh? m carrot and the other lazy gangs they are jealousy to see uh, the Lawson family supporting Aya, Maru and Rocio to go and enjoy in Mombasa. They are jealousy. They couldn't expect this. Why? They have been talking much. They have been talking much about uh, the donations. The donations. I am already receiving donations. But wondering, wonders is that when they talk is when Aya, Maru receives more donations. Is when Aya, Maru receives more support. So... May, what I can say is, continue talking, continue talking, so that doors can be opened. You know, God is not, God is really working. God is really watching you. And the more you talk bad about Ayamara, the more God opens door for him. So, my humble request is, continue talking bad, because it's the same way, uh, you are opening doors. I saw the other day, I made a video, I was talking about Modesta, talking about, about uh, Ayamara's uh, upcoming, upcoming new baby. She was saying that, oh, uh, I don't know, this, 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 even you are, uh, when uh, you will give, your wife will give birth, you will take your, uh, your kid will be taken to the hospital all the time. And I'm here to say that, that is going to turn to you. And God is going to open just doors. Everything will be fine. Eh? The little king or the little queen, she or he won't face any, any devil issue from you. Guys, lazy guns. M. Carol is jealousy to see Rocio being taken for an outing. Why? She's saying that Rocio... Uh, she is now happy. She has been eating a lot, uh, uh, a lot of beans in the villa, a lot of rice, soda, a lot of kales, vegetables. Now my message to you is, that was just an interview. Hot, hot. It was an interview then to Rocio. We wanted to see, is Rocio the real woman? Is she a wife material who can eat the kales? today and tomorrow who can eat beans tomorrow and the other day but she is qualified to be the best to be the best wife to Ayamaro and I'm happy 
I'm really, I'm very, very, very happy. You know, let me tell you, my people. Ayamaro was not stupid. And Ayamaro will never be stupid. Like to you, other people who are stupid. Why am I saying that? Ask yourself, how many ladies Ayamaro have met since he started being a YouTuber? Do you want to tell me that uh, he wasn't capable to to marry them. Ayamaro was looking for a wife material. He wasn't being he wasn't looking for somebody just because of beauty or because he's coming from Qatar or because he's coming from Dubai, I don't know where. But what Ayamaro was looking for is a wife material. You know who a wife material is. If you don't know who a wife material is, Ask Prince Odinga. I will let you know so that you can, you even you, the Emkarot, you can become a wife material. But from what you are saying, that now Rosio is happy because she's eating pizza or she's eating hen, you are wrong. That, that shows the way you are. That shows us your character. That shows you, shows us your character. You are not a wife material. That's why you have never even brought on camera. You show us, even your husband, even Prince Odinga, I talk about your husband. When will, we, will it happen? When will you take your family even for an outing so that we can see that, oh, it's good that, ah, M. Carol, uh, she's having a family. Let's, wow, let's congratulate him. Or let's even astonish you the way you talk bad about Ayamaro's family. We have never seen. Eh? I'm wondering, guys, that all these lazy gang members, ladies, all these lazy gang members, ladies, let's leave aside men's, men, uh, the men's. Men's at, at least sometimes, uh, uh, they, they do show us their wives after they have panicked, after the pressure. But le these ladies, eh? These ladies, they have never shown us their husbands. M. Karot, we have never seen your husband. Black Beauty, you are showing us, you do show us your kids, but you have never shown us your husband. Same to Modesta, same to On Trending. What is not happening to you, ladies? What is not happening? Eh? Haven't you got the... What is happening actually? Eh? We need to see your husband. We need to see even your wedding. At least Maru is trying. He's really trying. He's really trying. You are also content creators. Eh? We need to see your husbands. Especially M. Carol. Eh? We need to see your husband so that even us, we can donate for you. For some, something you go with, with it, you enjoy there in the beach. Why are you always Marwa? There is another receipt here, guys. And Lois, in, in particular, thank you so much. We'll be staying here for two days. Before us keeps changing her mind to say more and more. Extended, extended. No extension. <laughs> no extension. Yeah, it's called short and sweet. <laughs> vacation. Yes. Short and sweet vacation. Right here. Thank you guys. We love you and also thank you for supporting us. Mm. I'm just getting this seed off. One of the reasons why sometimes I'm always easy going with people. For example, when they come to my home, they want help. It's sometimes even me, people do me big favors that I wonder, oh my God, uh, did I really deserve this? But at the same time, I say, oh, even me, maybe I'll have to return this favor at one point of my life. So that's one of the reasons why you find me also trying to support others as much as I can. Uh, not putting the money factors number one in my life like oh you have to do this to do that because of money and this and for me 
I don't like listening tomorrow when it starts that because he is now lying. This is now where I come to start disagreeing with this man. I don't put money factor. Which money factor that you don't put? Every time people are coming in your home, they must be carrying something to you. Goats are coming in. Cows are coming in. Cement is coming in. All these things are coming in. If someone comes with nothing, you throw them away. Now you're coming here to say that, you know, I always don't put this money factor. This is why I help with people. Big liar. Big liar. Marwa. This is the biggest lie that you can ever come and put across here. Just because you're sitting there in Mombasa and you are and you are feeling good and you are now you think that you can start lying on the camera as if we have forgotten what you have been doing back in the village. <laughs> Big liar. Big liar. The biggest of all. Maru has never done anything free for anyone, even in that village. Even for those girls, underage girls that used to take advantage of them hi hey not for free those guys they could come and work and work bring water clean do all those things and he will not even pay them and he will do them and leave them and then he will bring them on the camera after a whole week of these girls working and we've been here seeing all these things and now he wants to come out because he's with Rocio and Rocio is pregnant and they are on this take a session that Lois paid for and he's like, hey, I always do my... That thing really irritated me. <laughs> I was busy singing and, and dancing to the songs and even helping him to, to sing those songs and enjoy. Until now he comes out and he's spoiling this whole thing by coming out here to say that, hey, me, you know, I help people. I don't put this money factor in there. Shit. will, at the end of the day, just spoil everything that has been there you know you are trying <laughs> can i request you sing that song again and now the problem is even you saw mara was avoiding it because of the copyright now that is the problem and also the song is being sung in luo me um i'm not a luo i i i'm luia okay there is a difference between luia and luo so with that song is luo and I can't really pronounce the Lua language very, very. M. Carol, M. Carot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, forget, I, for, I was forgetting. I was forgetting. M. Carot. Uh, you are claiming here that uh, I am Marwa. Most of the people, not most, all of the people who uh, need support when they go to the villa, they must carry the gifts. Ayamaro cannot support anybody without him or her uh, producing or taking to him gifts. Without gift, gifts, no support. Without gifts, no support. Without donations, no support. I want you to come out clearly with a video because you normally talk with the receipts. I want you to come out with a receipt which is showing Ayamaro asking people that without any 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 gift no support i want you to come with that and if you don't have that then i have a question have got some questions to you we have been seeing a lot of people going to the villa with uh, gifts even me personally I've, uh, uh, there is a certain time one of my friends from a uh, usa Wadey Live TV, kindly subscribe to his channel. Wadey Live TV, a brother of mine. I used to work there. And uh, he texted me, oh my brother, I got something uh, I got something for you. I want you to deliver it to Ayamaro. Because I do watch Ayamaro's video and uh, they are really nice and I want to support him. I was like, okay, it's good. He bought me cooking oil and I took it to Ayamaro. Eh? I took it 80 liters, 80 liters of cooking oil. I took the cooking oil to Ayamaro. And Ayamaro, as usual, as you know, he normally, all the time he wants to receive the gift, 
he must show it on camera because that's his job and to some extent it's good because maybe somebody like the one who bought for me the cooking oil uh he can somebody can send you the money to go and purchase the cooking oil then you go and uh, do your shenanigan so it's good when i am out of film a video so that even the person who has supported you to buy the cooking oil can watch the video and uh, yeah that is the tingo and my question to you is do you want those people who are coming from uh, different places when they feel like gifting ayamaro i feel like today i want to buy ayamaro the goat because of the big support which is showing to different people do you want after reaching to the gate ayamaro to just to give me the shout out and uh, he refused the gift or what do you want uh, ayamaro to be doing hmm? what do you want exactly ayamaro to be doing do you want him not to receive the gift or we win we need to know because you are too much no support no gift without gift no support since when huh since when the other day you are talking about this man who uh, left the villa the, with Jamaican uncle. That, oh, this guy, uh, he has stayed in the villa, I don't know, like weeks. Uh, Ayamaro don't want to support him. Uh, Ayamaro is supporting him now. Last time when he's living in the villa, uh, he's less than a thousand subscribers. Now the question is, how many subscribers is that person right now? He's over two, uh, he's holding 2,000 subscribers. What is wrong with you, lazy gangs? What is wrong with you? What is not happening? Oh, Ayamaro, you know what? And let me tell you, this one I'll be repeating. Ayamaro is going to be blessed so much. Ayamaro is going to be blessed. No matter uh, which percentage of lazy gangs are going to be against, but they won't defeat that man. They won't defeat that man. Hmm? Even me, I'm planning uh, when I get I get money, I give to him with full of even I don't know cement, anything. Eh? You never know. That is the thing, and I I will wish you react on me. Eh? Guys, what's no? <laughs> <laughs> My good people, these are Rwandas. These are the people we're having in the village, in Kenya. Eh? They don't want to see other people's progressing. What they want to see is you living the hardest life ever in the world. Well, it is very, very bad. It is very, very, very bad. M. Carol. M. Carol. I need to see your husband. I need to see your husband. I need to see your husband. Actually, I'm longing for that. Modesta, I need to see your to see your your grandfather. I need to see your grandfather. Yeah, that is the thing I want mostly. And uh, black beauty. Black on trending actually. On trending. I think uh, you are now you are now old enough to get somebody who can marry you. Eh? I want even me to see to see you in that group. <laughs> yeah, my good people. I want to end up this video here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly, uh, if you haven't subscribed, support my channel by subscribing to my YouTube channel my good people, and uh, God will bless you. God will bless you abundantly. Let's meet in the next video.